So, start of the marine turn. Ripley activates, exhort, uh, gets two cards back in the endurance deck, and we draw one. Spare pistol, yeah, sure. Uh, then we'll get Ripley to move and chase after Newt. One, two, and attempt to calm her down, needing a four or less. Yes, okay, Newt's calm, good. So she joins the team now, so we get a little card up there. Since Ripley's a character, Newt is also one as well. Uh, when Newt takes a rest, she may recycle additional cards, so she does four. End of activation, exhaust two cards to move a character within the line of sight, two spaces of and Newt. Okay, so she'll be good to get in people off the board. But, crucially, she's chilled out now, and we can start to extract her. Um, that's a lot of Xenomorphs to worry about, though. We could send in Gorman, but uh, I'd worry you'd get trapped there. But you can fire the flame at two spaces away from you and everyone in a space of where it lands gets burned. So we could fire one, two there, and it'll burn this first three row. And that's probably safer than actually sending them in after them. So we'll exhaust two cards to do that with Gorman. So each Xenomorph uh, dies on a seven. So this Xenomorph on his own uh, lives. There's a stack of five there. So first one lives, second one. Lives, third one, lives, fourth one, oh god, five. Right, so we killed one at least out of that stack. Oh dear, and then all of these, there's three in there. Seven or less, one dead, one lives, two lives. Oh boy, that's probably the worst flamethrower I've ever seen happen. Not good. Uh, okay. Um, well, gorman has got... That was his first action, so for his second one, let's do it again. Card. Card. Seven or less on everybody again. This guy on his own. Dies. Uh, there are currently four in that middle stack, so seven or less on all of them. First one lives. Second one lives. Third one dies. Uh, so just another one. So when do these xenomorphs get so fireproof? There's two there, seven or less. One dead. Oh, that was almost a two. He lives. So just another one dead. And that's Gorman done. Um, yeah. <sighs> Hicks has a grenade. So we'll fire off the pulse rifle first and then determine whether we need to use the grenade, I think. But it may come to that. So, uh, Pulse Rifle. Hicks is currently hitting on sixes with it. So spend a card to activate into this guy on his own here. Uh, six or less. Lives. And that's his first action with the Pulse Rifle. So, yeah. Desperate times. Let's fire off that grenade. Uh, so, discard the card to make an attack with the weapon. Choose a space within four of the character in line of sight. Roll for each model and token within small space. Always hits on six or less. So that is discarded goes into the discard pile, and everyone in there is hit on a six or less, because we're firing it here. So that main stack has three Xenomorphs, six or less. One lives. What? Well, two lives? Do you know what? I'm going to change dice. Three lives. Nope, nope, the third one actually dies. Good. Kind of got uh, <laughs> a bit too pessimistic with the prediction there. That guy over there on his own. Six. Lives. Two at the back. Lives. One dies. So for his second action, because you get to fire the grenade as part of a pulse rifle for one action, it will just hold his ground and try to mow down the rest with just the rifle. So he is hitting on fives. Uh, let's get this pack leader at the front. There are currently two there. So five or less. Kills one. Spend another card to fire, spend another to keep going. Four or less. Yes. Those two are both dead. Uh, I mean, we might as well try and push our luck. That guy, three or less. Nope, he lives, and we spend the card to do it. So there are still two Xenomorphs there, unfortunately. Let's see if we can handle what's going off here first, and then we'll decide what we're doing with Hudson, where he wants to go to help. So Frost will back up one, and he'll fire his flame onto this pile, so it doesn't burn Vasquez or himself, but gets every Xenomorph there. Burns two cards for the privilege, and there are currently... One, two, three, four, five in that big stack in front of him. So seven or less. One dead. One alive. Two dead. Two alive. Three dead. Okay. So 
not quite as bad as I was fearing, but still not perfect. And there are two xenomorphs behind that also get burned on seven or less. One lives, one dies. Would it be a good idea to fire the flame again? Because it's the exact same cost for Vasquez to activate her smart gun. Um, yeah, let's fire the flame again whilst we're able to. Two cards. So three xenomorphs there, seven or less. One dies. Two dies. They're all dead. Great. Great, 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 because we don't have to worry about them then. And that's Frost done. So we can get Hudson to help with these two and then maybe Vasquez can rest or clear the way and move forward. But, uh, so we know these two are going to come after them. Hudson, one, two, three, four, could be amazed to help. So one, two, three, four. Can see both of them from there. So uh, let's get him to fire off his pulse rifle. Spend a card to do so. Hits this Xenomorph on a six or less. Does spend another card for the other one, five or less. Does. Great. So both those Xenomorphs are gone. So we have cleared the board of Xenomorphs. It took everybody everything in order to do it. We've also calmed Newt down. Vasquez hasn't done anything yet, so we've got a huge bit in the exhaust pile. So we'll get Vasquez to rest twice and try and get these back in the hand. Okay, it doesn't say whether Newt can actually take actions now that she's calmed down. I'm going to assume for the first one she isn't. So we'll just let that slide for now that uh, she doesn't do anything. Um, but uh, we get Vasquez to rest twice and that's the marine phase done. Okay then, so start the alien phase. Thankfully, no active Xenomorphs on the board. Uh, but there's a fair few blips, so let's see where they go. Blips down here. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, blips up here. One. Uh, one. Um, yeah. Uh, since I suppose it has ended up moving next to the barricade, let's just see if it destroys it. So uh, on a four, if it does, it does not. Okay, motion track cards. First one. Uh, two blips on three. Players must either exhaust four cards or place another blip at spawn one. Uh, we kind of need those cards. So we'll put two blips at three and one at one. So one, two on three and one at one. They are in line of sight, so they get flipped. Four and two. And then for the second motion tracker card, uh, two blips at two. Exhaust four cards or place one more blip at spawn three. Yeah, we ain't exhausting those cards. We're gonna need them. So two more blips at two. One, two. And then an extra one at three that immediately gets revealed as well. So there are a total of seven aliens that have just crawled out next to Vasquez and Frost, again. So let's get those models on the board. Okay, so more Xenomorphs coming out at three. More blips along the rest of the board. Looking quite dicey for us as we're going to turn 12. So, uh, first off, Ripley activates. Let's get two cards back in. And then as part of Ripley's actions, we'll play this one. We cycle up to six cards from the exhaust pile. We cycle one from the discard pile, then draw up to two endurance cards. So I think the draw up to two means it's optional, so we just draw the one. But we recycle six and one from the discard pile. And from the discard pile, we're going to recycle the grenades that uh, Hicks fired off you late uh, earlier. We don't get them, but uh, they do go back in, so we could potentially get them later on. And for Ripley's second action, she will move five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get the other Marines out there. So, Hicks will move. One, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three. Mm, you know, step him out for four. Go on, move. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's all move. One, two, three, four. One, two, th hang on, where was I? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So then potentially Ripley could maybe see. Actually, I don't think she would anyway, so we'll just stick Hudson there. Uh, Newt, 
moves up to five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll get her to rest with her second one and she recycles four cards to do it because she is Newt. Okay, uh, so these have all moved up. So Ripley, Hudson, Gorman and Newt have all gone. So we've got Hicks uh, who moved up there as well, but we've got Frost and Vasquez to try and thin down this alien horde. Let's fire Frost first. He'll go onto this pile here, which splashes to those two, but misses the uh, Marines. So he exhausts two cars to do it. And every Xenomorph on there is hit on a seven or less. There are currently four Xenomorphs there, uh, two there, one there. So the one on his own, seven or less, dead. The two, first one lives. Second one dies, so that guy goes, and that one under there goes as well. Then of this pile of four, seven or less, one dies, two die, three die, all of them, nice. So there's only a single Xenomorph left on spawn point three, uh, nice. And for his second action, instead of firing the flamer, let's try and conserve ammo a little bit. We'll fire off his pistol. Still reduces his own dial by one when he fired the flamer initially, so he hits with the pistol on a four or less. Kills it. Nice. Good job, Frost. Uh, okay, so then we've got the rest. Uh, let's move Vasquez up a bit so that she doesn't get trapped on three if more stuff spawns in. And uh, then we'll get her to rest as well. So one, two, three, four, and Vasquez will rest as well. Get some more cards back in the deck. Okay, so good job, Marines. We've closed out all the uh, aliens that were near us. They're no longer a threat, but there are quite a few more blips between us and the exit point. So we're going to be in a scrap in order to escape Hudley's hope. So moving into the alien turn then. Thankfully, no active Xenomorphs, but there are plenty of blips. Blips on this board. How far do they go? Four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four. These two are in line of sight. It's one and two. What about the blitz up here? One. One, 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 one. And I guess it moved there, so let's see if it destroys that barricade on a four-up. It does. It does not. Okay, so only three xenomorphs around the corner, so let's get those models on the board. So, three Xenomorphs around there, still a couple more around the sides, and we've got to draw motion tracker cards. First one, two blips on one, exhaust four cards, I'll place another at four. Uh, you can have the one at four, I think. We'll put two blips on spawn point one, there's a lot in there, and another one at spawn point four. Next one, single blip at two, exhaust one card for each character with line side to the blip when it spawns. Spawns on two, and thankfully, nobody can see that. So, okay, moving into the Marine turn then. Turn 13, I think that is. So, Marines, first off, Ripley activates, recycle two cards. They go in the Endurance. And then we draw one. Smart gun, ooh, okay. Might keep that for later. Um, so, Ripley's actual activations. So let's get a moving, shall we? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So that's Ripley's first action, just to move up there. Uh, so for a second one, we'll just open up with the pulse rifle into those Xenomorphs there. Spend a card to do it. Uh, first one on two, dies on a seven or less. That's a hit. Spend another card. Six or less. Ooh, misses. So we managed to ping off one of the lead Xenomorphs, but there's still two there, and that's Ripley done. Let's step up with Vasquez. One, two, three, four. And she can't draw line sight to the Xenomorphs yet. One, two, three, four, five. They could potentially reach her though if they move a five or a six. But we need to escape out that way anyway, it's probably worth the risk. So uh, she moves up and then she attacks with a smart gun, spending two cards to do so. Hitting on sixes or less. Kills one. Spend another card. Fives or less. Nope, misses. And that's Vasquez done. Uh, let's get Frost up the board. One, two, three, four. 
and he's out of range with the flamer, so we'll just have a pop shot with the pistol. Hits on a five or less. Misses. Spend a card, hits on a four or less. Nope, and misses again. Uh, let's get Hicks up here. One, two, three, four. Into that Xenomorph, spending a card to fire with his pulse rifle. Six or less. Uh, come on, guys. It's just one Xenomorph, for God's sake. Uh, Gorman, let's get you moving up. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three. Hudson, one, two, three, four. And we'll get Hudson to rest. Let's get some more cards back in our endurance pile. Then we'll get Newt to move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The entire squad was unable to kill a solitary Xenomorph, so we're probably going to have to take defensive fire for this next one. But we're going to the alien phase. First off, active aliens. Yes, there is one. He moves six. One, two, three, four, five, and attacks Vasquez. Uh, Vasquez will fire defensive fire first. Two cards to do so. Okay then, so Vasquez is doing some defensive fire. Spend the two cards to attack. She hits on fours or less. That's a star. That Xenomorph goes down. Good stuff. And the attack sequence ends. So, no more activating, so we activate blips on this board. How far do we go? Six. One, two, three, four, five, 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 six. So all three of those are in line of sight to someone. So, it's a total of six Xenomorphs, and the blips on this board, how far do they move? Two. One, two is in line of sight. One, two is not, and the rest kind of file in behind. And is that barricade gone yet? It's not. Okay, motion tracker cards. First one. Flip on three. Uh, there's currently nothing on three, so it doesn't move, but it does get turned over. It's a single xenomorph. Next one. Blip on two. Uh, two is down here, and there's nothing there, so it doesn't move. So let's get some of these xenomorph models on the board. Okay then, so a couple more xenomorphs between us and the exit, as we're going to the marine turns. So, first off, Ripley activates. So just recycling two cards back into the endurance. And then we draw one. Sound up a knockdown character. Yeah, cool. Keep that. Um, then, what shall we get her to do? Uh, let's get her to take out the alien behind us first, shall we? Or shall we not, actually? She, uh, she's probably better if we move up first before doing that. So we'll move her up first. One, two, three, four, five. And she'll open up with the pulse rifle into this xenomorph here first. So... Spending a card to do so, it hits on a seven or less. Kills one, spend another card for the next. Six or less. Nope. So just the one dead. And that's Ripley done. Yeah, let's get Hudson to kill that Xenomorph behind us before he does anything, because uh, that could be quite a concern for us. So spends a card to, oh, do we try it with the pistol and try and yeah, let's attack with the pistol first. So he hits on a six or less. Misses, spend a card, five or less. Kills it, good. So that Xenomorph's dead, and his aim's down to four now. And for his next action, we'll get him to move up. Uh, one, two, three, four. Um, let's get Vasquez to go to town with a smart gun, shall we? So, spending two cards for her to open up on the closest Xenomorph. Six or less, two dice. Kills one. Five or less. Kills another, so they both go. Uh, spend another card to go into this group. Fours or less. No misses. Okay, uh, so she's now hitting on threes. Okay, so let's get Gorman to move up and have a crack with the flamer, I think. So one, two, three, and he has to stop there because he's next up Xenomorph. And we'll spend two cards for him to shoot off his flamethrower here. So it attacks this pile and also whatever's under here. So let's just flip that for now so we know what we're killing. Two Xenomorphs. 
So, first group of three, seven or less on all of them. Dead, lives, dead. So, two xenomorphs go from there. And the two behind, seven or less. Dead, dead. Nice. Uh, let's get Hicks to move up and give a hand with that. So, one, two, three, four. And from there, he can actually draw a line of sight to these. So, let's get those flipped. Okay, so six total, so let's get those mods on the board. Let's fire into this solitary one here first. So, spending a card to do so, hits on a six or less. Misses. Of course he does. Yeah, because Frost is the only one who hasn't really gone yet. Let's get Frost to move up. One, two, three, four. So we can't shoot off his flamer, but he could uh, attack with his pistol into that xenomorph there. So it hits on a five or less. Does. And he can't see any others. So that's most of the marines done. Let's just get Nuke to fire in behind. Uh, there, so that she's uh, less likely to be attacked by anything, or get to rest to recycle four cards back in. Okay, so that's Marines done, on to Xenomorphs. So, Xenomorphs activate. So, this guy comes in, one, two, three, four, five, and has a go at Hicks. So, Hicks on defensive fire, spends a card to do so, hits on a four or less. Misses. Uh, Gorman will fire off the shotgun. Needs a card to do it, hits on a five or less. Kills one. Ripley can see from there, so she'll fire off her pulse rifle. Hitting on a five or less. Misses. Hudson can see from there, he'll fire off his pistol on a four or less. Misses. Spend a card to have another go, three or less. Misses again. Vasquez can't see from there, neither can Frost, so it has a go at Hicks. Uh, there's two there, so we add one to the result. That's a 10, so that would kill Hicks. Um, Ripley has a passive, however, once per turn, exhaust a card to choose a character within four spaces, rerolls a failed defense roll, so let's get Ripley to reroll that failed defense on Hicks. So that's a five. So Hicks is not dead, but he is knocked down. So he's on the ground again from that Xenomorph. Uh, next lot comes in, uh, one, two, three, and has a go at Gorman. Uh, Gorman can fire defensive, so he will spend a card to do so with the shotgun, hits on a five or less. Misses. Uh, Frost will fire off his pistol, hits on a four or less. Nope, spend another card, hits on a three or less. Also no, uh, Vasquez has a smart gun, two cards, hitting three or less on either. No, nobody else can see. Uh, so there is one, two, three in that uh, additional ones in that stack, so we add three to Gorman's defense value. Five becomes eight. Again, doesn't kill him, but it does knock Gorman down. Next xenomorph, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we've got the blips. So blip here, moves two, one, two. Blip here, three. One, two, three. Blips there, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And probably can't be seen because they're still knocked down technically. So we'll leave them there for now. Okay, so not looking good for the Marine team, so close to the exit as we move into the next turn. So we can thin out those Xenomorphs a bit. Actually, first we have to activate Ripley, recycle two cards, and draw one, get some grenades. So Ripley first off will activate into this pair over there, spends a card to do so, hits on a seven or less, kills one, spends another card, hits on a six or less, does. So, both of those Xenomorphs there are now gone, which is good. Could clear the way for Frost to get a bit closer. Uh, let's keep firing. Uh, spend another card into this one, five or less. No misses. Uh, let's get Vasquez to open up then into this Xenomorph on his own. Two cards. Hitting sixes or less. Kills one. Spend another card, fives or less, into that one. Kills him. Spend another card, fours or less into them. 
kills another. To fire again, three or less into them. That's a miss. Okay, so quite a few killed there, which is nice. And crucially that we can move Frost around into a more advantageous position to fire the Flamer. That's what we're really after here. So let's get him to... Well, first we need to reshuffle these real quick. And I'm painfully aware there is not many cards left in that. Okay, uh, that's reshuffled, so let's get Frost to move up. Uh, one, two, three, four. So he goes there. And then he'll spend two cards to fire his flamethrower here. So we do get to see these. Four and a two. Let's get those on the board. Frost to fire his flamethrower here, so that it splashes onto them and them. Three in that stack, two in that one. So for the three, seven or less to kill. One dead. Two dead. Three dead. Brilliant. They're all gone. Stack of two, seven or less. Nope. Yes, one dead. Okay. So luckily that means our knockdown guys are going to get up at the end of this. They don't get dragged off, which is brilliant. Uh, let's move Hudson up. Just to give a hand. One, two, three, four. And from there he can see down into them. So he'll fire off his pulse rifle, spending a card to do so. Uh, hitting on a six or less into that zoom off. That's a nine. He misses. Okay, so Hudson has missed with his shot. Not looking great for us. But uh, we've got Newt back there who's going to rest twice. And get a total of eight cards back in the endurance deck. Okay then, so on to the alien phase, all the marines are done. First off, Hicks and Gorman stand back up, because there are no aliens around them, and move on to the alien phase. So this guy runs in, one, two, and has a swipe at Gorman. Uh, people get to fire defensive fire first though, so we'll get Frost to fire off his little pistol, hitting on a four or less, because he did fire off the flamer. Misses, spend the card to shoot again, three or less. Gets it, nice, that one's gone. Next Xenomorph comes in, one, two, three, also has a go at Gorman, uh, let's get Frost with his pistol again, three or less, it's a pistol, nope, spend a card, three or less, still nope, okay, so we'll get Hicks to fire off his pulse rifle, spends a card to do so, hits on a six or less, misses, uh, get Hudson to do the same thing, Spending a card to do so, hitting on a five or less. Kills one. So, spending another card, hitting on a four or less. No, misses. Uh, Gorman has his shotgun. Spend a card to do that, always hits on a five or less. Nope. So, Xenomorph takes a swipe at Gorman, adding two to its value. Five becomes seven, not enough to kill him, but it does knock Gorman down. So he's <laughs> Gorman got back up and is immediately straight back down. Okay, uh, activate blips. There's a couple on the board. Let's do this one. Moves two, one, two. This one here, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay, and draw motion tracker cards, two of them. Blip on one, if it already has a blip, it moves. Uh, there is currently no other blip on one, so it stays where it is. And the next one. False alarm, recycle a card, please. I desperately need those at this point. So, Gorman's back on his ass again, but we may just make it out of here as we move into the next turn. So, start marine phase, rip the activates, recycle two cards, and then draw one. And then she gets to move. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then we'll spend a card for her to take a shot with a pulse rifle, hitting on seven or less. Kills one. Spend another one, six or less. No, so just kills one. Hicks to move. One, two, three, four. He can then see that blip. It's three xenomorphs. And we'll get him to fire off his pulse rifle into those xenomorphs there. Spends a card to do so, it hits on a six or less. Kills one, spend another card, hits on a five or less. Yes, they're both dead. Another card, need to reshuffle those. Not that it's going to matter too much, but we'll fire into there. Hits on a four or less. Does not. Hicks has missed. Uh, so, before we reshuffle that, we'll get Newt to rest 
once, because we really need to get off the board actually. One, two, three, four, five, and then she'll rest once for four cards. One. Uh, let's get Frost to move up. One, two, three, four. He'll fire off his flamer into that space with the Xenomorphs. Two cards to do it. Every single one in that pile of three is dead on a seven or less. First one lives. Dead. Dead. So just one left. Okay. Then we'll get Hudson to move up. One, two, three, four. Can see the Xenomorph from there. He'll shoot off with his pistol. Six or less. Nope. Spend a card. Five or less. No. Uh, oh, as much as I really want to kill that last Xenomorph, we need more cards more than anything. There's a, a bad motion tracker might screw us. So we'll get Vasquez to move up. One, two, three, four. And she will rest to get three cards back in. Okay, and that's all of the Marines done. So start the alien phase. Gorman gets back up. And this Xenomorph moves in, one, and has a go at Frost. Uh, Frost will attack back with his pistol. So it's on a three or less. Kills it. Nice. Nice. Perfect. Just what we're looking for. Uh, rest of the alien phase there. No more active aliens. Activate blips. There's a blip here. It moves three. One, two, three. There's a blip there. It moves five. One, two, three, four, five. We can see it from there. It's two Xenomorphs. Okay, so it has a swipe at Gorman. Uh, Gorman will fire off his shotgun, spending a card to do so. Hits on a five or less. No. Uh, Vasquez didn't actually fire, so she'll spend two cards to fire off the smart gun. Six or less on either. Kills one. Spends another card, hitting five or less on either. Kills it. Nice. I need to reshuffle these. Okay, so that's the blips done. So onto motion tracker. First one. Discard a barricade or place a second blip at spawn one. Uh, hmm. But we get one blip anyway at spawn three. So if we get the one at spawn three, people can see it. It's two xenomorphs. One, two, and we'll discard that barricade so we don't need to place another one. Next one, blip on one, exhaust one card with each character with line of sight to it. So, pops on one, line of sight's drawn down there, so nobody, thankfully, can actually see it. So we're all good. So, nice, moving back to the Marines. Everybody activates, with three recycles two. And then draws one. It's another pistol. Okay, uh, can we get everyone off the board? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, Gorman will not make it off this turn. So we'll get Ripley to move up. One, two, three, four, five. And she will rest to get three cards back in. Uh, Gorman will move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Newt will move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Vasquez move, one, two, three, four. Uh, Frost, one, two. Uh, we'll get both those to rest twice, get some more cards. Two, three, one, two, three. Uh, we'll get Higgs to move, one, two, three. He will also rest. One, two, three. We'll get Hudson to move, one, two, three. He will also rest. One, two, three. Okay, so that's the Marines done. Alien phase. Uh, there is an active Xenomorph, he moves six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blip here, moves four. One, two, three, four. Blip there, moves five. One, two, three, four, five uh, is revealed. It's two Xenomorphs. Okay, uh, motion tracker cards. First one, false alarm recycle card. False alarm recycle two cards, yes please. Okay, on to the last turn because everybody can extract off the board safely. So, we had a couple of knockdowns, but thankfully we had no fatalities. Um, we didn't burn a huge amount into the discard, we actually managed to get one back thanks to one of the event cards we got. 
So, all in all, dicey, yes, looks very ropey for us at one point, but that was a very successful first mission. So, I'll uh, shuffle the discard and remove half of the cards from the game after getting that hazard that we already drew back into it. And uh, yeah, then we can carry on from there into the next mission. So, that was another glorious day in the court. Thank you so much for joining me on this, and we'll see you in the next mission.